Hi, and welcome to the Data Science Bits channel. My name is Felipe. Today I want to talk to you about statistics. There is a war going on on LinkedIn between statisticians and data scientists. On one hand, statisticians will say that data science is basically statistics. On the other hand, there are some other data scientists that will tell you that you don't need statistics in order to do data science. And many times you need to be careful because these people are actually trying to sell you a course where you will be a data scientist in one month. My side in this fight is with the statisticians because I really think that the data science foundations rely on statistics. Also, data science is an ongoing field and anything that I say now may not be true in the future, but there's a reasonably well-established pipeline for data science work right now. And I can tell you that all the steps in the data science pipeline rely on statistics, and mainly it's descriptive statistics. So for example, computing averages, medians, means, modes, when you assume that your data uh, has a shape of a specific distribution and you compute the specific parameters of the distribution, computing correlations, when you are gathering data, cleaning data, doing feature engineering, this step is really important, has a lot of statistics in there. Um, when you are labeling data, because many times you don't have um, the labels, the source of truth. When you are training the model, behind the scenes there is statistics. When you are monitoring the model for performance, you are talking about statistics. When you are interpreting the models using Lime or Shep or any advanced tool, you are actually using statistics. So, there is no way you can say you are not using statistics. Now talking about the machine learning aspect, the theory behind machine learning. So, if you have read any machine learning paper, any research paper, you'll see that there are three components in every paper. Statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. There's a point where the statistics and machine learning diverged, and this was on deep learning, because deep learning actually rely a lot on computational power. And people have many times uh, developed deep learning techniques, testing it before proving it. And this makes statisticians really mad. Also, in deep learning, uh, you don't need to do much uh, feature engineering. And people actually say that you don't need much domain knowledge, at least in the academic setting. I don't believe that in a company, in a business setting, you can uh, really say, I'm a data scientist doing deep learning, and I can just not care about business. You cannot do that. Just to have some fun with this subject, I suggest that you watch uh, A Rap Battle by Baba Brinkman. I will put the link in the description and also here in the screen. Uh, it's also in a playlist in my YouTube channel. I'm also providing two suggestions of books, one here, another here. The first one is uh, really good to understand the statistics in the context of machine learning. You will need a bit of statistical and mathematical background to understand everything in this book but I think it's really, really uh, robust. This other book here is about statistics for data scientists. So if you don't have this type of background and you are a data scientist, especially if you are a computer scientist, I suggest you read this book and it will give you some idea of the concepts. It's not very deep mathematically, but it's a very good reading. I'm reading it right now to study. So that's it for today. I think it was a lot of content and let's keep this discussion open. Uh, please comment in the LinkedIn or the YouTube comment sections. I would really love to hear your opinion. And please don't forget to subscribe to keep watching this type of video and also uh, follow me on LinkedIn.